Hey, what's up, guys? This is Freyam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Just two days ago, we got our hands on the new Echoing Void DLC, which is probably my favorite DLC yet. I mean, it has some very awesome new levels. The weapons, the armor, and also the artifacts are very interesting for new builds. But um, I think I already found my all-time favorite level for the entire game. Literally, guys, the Stronghold level is where it's at. You already saw it in the title. It is an insane secret Obsidian chest farm, and we're going to check it out right now so guys let's go all right so here we are in the base camp let me quickly show you where the stronghold can be found on the map because it's actually pretty easy some of you guys already asked this multiple times so on the mainland all you want to do is just go to the side and it is right there but of course you need to get your hands on the echoing void dlc it's part of the paid content so you won't be able to play it if you don't own it of course the stronghold will bring you to the other dimensions to the end wilds mission and of course also the broken citadel guys seriously i think this dlc is the most epic DLC of all you should definitely get your hands on it if you have the money for it and of course um, the stronghold is my new all-time favorite level I mean you have all these secret obsidian chests the title says it seriously but uh, at the same time you have the crazy gear drops the best loot table pretty much in the entire game so we can find the fighters bindings in this mission also the whirlwind axe we have um, the harp crossbow the lightning harp crossbow the vacation rope family the spider armor and then also uh, the mystery armor Armor, and last but not least, the Entertainer's Garb, which is exclusive to this level, so only in the Stronghold you'll be able to find it. So guys, let's check it out on the highest Apocalypse Plus. All right, so guys, here we are in the stronghold. So um, what we're gonna do right here is open every secret obsidian chest. There is at least five to six of them. And we also wanna find all the switches which open up the vault. So this will give you an achievement and give you even more treasure. So guys, I decided to disable my webcam for this because you want to follow everything step by step. Don't skip anything because you will miss out on all those switches. So what you wanna do first, of course, is open up the end portal. Make sure it's activated because otherwise you won't be able to go to the locations where you find all these secret obsidian chests. So we click these two switches right here, open up the gate, and um, we place the eyes of Ender. So this will bring you to this very room if you always go straight ahead. And um, if you don't know yet how to get your hands on all those eyes of Enders, just check out the top right of the screen. I already made a very nice guide for this. But um, if you click the portal, you can finally travel to the end. But right now, we're gonna do some treasure hunting. So let's go. I already find a nice way to clear this dungeon very fast and in an efficient way. And ooh, look at my HP, almost died right there. I definitely suggest you to put the difficulty a little bit lower if you're having some difficulties. And fighting with speed trigger gear like I am doing right now definitely doesn't help either. So let me just quickly deal with these mobs for a second. Okay, so if we open up the map, you can see that the end portal is right there. This is the first circular area where I'm gonna start. We're just gonna start with this room, then go to that one, that one, that one, that one, and then that one. So we will have six secret obsidian chests. One is right there, two, three, uh, four, five, six in total, and also six switches. So keep your eyes open for all those because if you don't have all the switches, the vault simply won't open. So uh, we're gonna start off with the first room exactly right here. Let's deal with the mobs quickly and uh, get through. And I also recommend you to just speedrun your way to this very room because sometimes you can find a chest right here which of course you can open for some very nice treasure. Let me first deal with these mobs and uh, take my lucky gear. Okay, we didn't get lucky this time, but um, let's put it right there once again. And if you drop down, you can already take the blue key, which we need for the first secret obsidian chest. We also have this room. Um, I did a lot of research for this. I tried many things to uh, find even more secret rooms because this one looks like you can roll in there, but that's uh, not gonna happen. So don't waste your time. Right now, we're just gonna take the key, get past all these bad guys. And this is already the first place where you wanna activate the switch. To activate the first secret switch right behind that um, emerald jar. And uh, you also have this firework sound when you enable it. Makes a lot of noise, but uh, there you know you have found the switch. So uh, right now, we're gonna continue our speed trend, get to this very room. This will uh, trigger a survival event with uh, Silverfish. You're going to deal with every single one of them. Ooh, these are scary, guys. Oh my god, look at the lava! Look at the lava! It's like fire coming from the ceiling. Yeah, sometimes it can be recommended to put also different gear because... Uh, 
these bad boys can be pretty tricky. And uh, we're going to go to this very location. Deliver the key and open up the gates. Alright, so here we go. That's our very first secret obsidian chest. Lucky gear. Mm, this time we weren't lucky either. So uh, we have the gauntlets. And um, of course that means the fighter's bindings can drop into this location, guys. It's really, really awesome. So uh, that was the first room. Right now it's uh, time to go to the second one. So um, this one can be found in the bottom right, actually. So um, we could just click the portal right here and get to the cellar, pretty much, where we have to deal with two redstone uh, golems. And right here we have a room with silver fishies. So this will be another survival gate event. All right, so there we go. Right now we're going to take the path to the south and get upstairs. So we're just going to follow this path all the way to the top where we can find the cellar. Sometimes you also find chests right here. But um, then I definitely suggest you to put on some different gear because these guys are pretty, pretty tough. So let me quickly take this torment quiver, do a couple rolls and deal with the redstone golem. Next up, we're going to have some waves of silverfish. There we have him, the second redstone golem. So we're going to do a roll and ooh, we needed another roll actually. Okay, well, we can deal with him just like this. And whoo, look at that, a mechanical short bow unique just dropped. Very awesome. And by the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it's helpful, please hit that like button for a second. It literally takes me a lot of time to uh, make these videos and it only takes one second to press that like button. So uh, already very much appreciated. And of course, if you enjoy my content in general, don't hesitate to subscribe. Anyways, right here, we have our second secret obsidian chest. So we're going to put on our armor. And this time we got a double X. So uh, that's a whirlwind family, guys. This one can also drop very awesome item as well. So I'm going to take my boots of swiftness. Actually, we want to have the higher power level quiver right there. And um, right now we're also going to take the second switch. So we're gonna, just going to drop down. We're not going to go down entirely, but you want to go to this very location and deal with this spider and bam, there you have it. So we can either roll down from there or we can roll down from here and take that chest because uh, we forgot to take it. Here we go. Right now we're going to go to the third chest and the third switch. So uh, you can go to this place. And right now you can see that uh, there is a lot of water everywhere. If you press that button, a elevator will come up. But of course, you won't be able to go down because you will simply drown. So we're going to have to go to the other way which is uh, located right here. Ooh, these drowned, they look like they are searching for trouble, guys. All right, there we go. Sweet. Found another item. Take the burning potion as well. I really like these new potions, guys. Especially really efficient against the, the silverfish. So right now, we sometimes find a chest right here. This time only jars of emeralds. But uh, you're going to continue your way down pretty much. And this will bring you to another survival event with the gate. And uh, if you click this thing, you will um, make the water go down. So you can pretty much follow the path all the way down. You don't have to fight these bad guys. It will only uh, open up the gate to the back, really. Oh, that was really close. So uh, let me just take some food and get downstairs. Okay, so um, as you can see on the map, uh, this path is underwater still. So we first have to find the switch, which is located right here. There we go. Just click this one and uh, just run away. I mean, we don't have to fight these mobs once again. They won't drop any treasures. So guys, look at this. I think it's so well done, this uh, map design. And right now we're also going to have to fight against some um, drowned, because of course these are zombies from the underwater world, right? So we also have some drowned necro monsters right here. So definitely keep your guard up. They can be pretty uh, annoying. All right, there we go. Time for a next secret obsidian chest. So um, take the armor. This time we found some mystery armor. We're not very lucky with uniques, but uh, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Anyways, I'm going to take my speed ring gear once again and click the button to make the elevator go up. And right here, we will find our third switch as well. So definitely make sure to click this one. Of course, you can go down if you... Um, Missed it, but uh, it will be right there, guys. It's gonna pop up any moment. Yep, there we have it. All right, click the button. You will hear the fireworks sound. That's three obsidian chests and three buttons. Okay, so on to the next room. This one is located at the second ring, which is around the end portal. So we're gonna go to the south right here 
and go all the way upstairs. And uh, we're gonna activate the door to get inside. So uh, right here, we're gonna have to uh, do a funky piston event with uh, a key. Oh, we just uh, found a katana. That's really nice. But um, the secret switch is also around these parts. So definitely make sure to check it out. So uh, right now, I also suggest you to equip some uh, tankier gear because um, sometimes some enchanted mobs will spawn in and it, they will make your life a lot more difficult if you don't watch out. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, so the gate just opened, guys, but that doesn't mean we have to go out just yet. Right now, we want to go up here for the next secret uh, switch. So we're just going to walk up the stairs, get upstairs all the way, and bam, look at that. You have your next switch right there. So that was already our fourth switch. Right now, after this um, key wall, we're going to find our fourth secret obsidian chest as well. So we're going to go upstairs right here. And we're going to follow this path, and it will lead us to a... Pretty tricky um, road. So uh, right here, you don't want to roll. You just want to fall down and um, carefully progress your way through this. Because if you go too fast with speed rigging, you might fall down and maybe even die. So that is not really nice. Next up, we have a survival event right here. So definitely be careful. Don't stand in the middle because the mobs will just keep spawning and spawning. And um, I died right here a couple times with all the creepers. They can be pretty annoying. There we go. All right, so we opened up everything. By the way, you have a very nice balcony right here. <laughs> you cannot do anything right here, but uh, let's uh, check out the next secret obsidian chest. Bam, there you go. So um, fingers crossed. Ooh, a soul dancer robe. Really awesome. Nice. All right, let's uh, equip this one once again. All right, so that's four chests, four switches. Right now we're going to numero five and uh, open the gate. This one is in the very center at the end of the mission. Also above the vault, which will open very soon, guys. Okay, these guys are a little bit annoying. And uh, right now we're going to have to simply rescue some villagers. So uh, what you're going to do is click the cage and the gate will open. You can do this for every single one of them, but uh, be careful with speedring gear. I just died because of it. So uh, I think I'm going to enable uh, my tankier gear. That's going to make it a little bit more interesting to survive this place. To actually get to the vault, guys. So we're going to click this one, go to the side, to the right really, and uh, take these bad boys down as well. Then click this gate. So now we go to the right. And this will also lead us to the next switch, guys. Very important. So right here we have one more event where we're going to have to deal with a bunch of uh, creepers. And that right there is the fifth switch. So um, of course we're going to deal with the creepers as well for a free chest, right? Okay, that's definitely the end of them. Here we go. Another golden chest. So uh, let me have this one. Bam. Evocation ropes. And take this final cage. Open up the gate once again. And deal with Enderman right here. So we're just gonna do a roll for a dynamo. Oh, poor lad. Drop the mystery armor. That's really nice. Ooh, these guys are tough. And uh, we just found the secret obsidian chest right there, guys. But uh, first, let's deal with the bad guys. Here we go. Voila. All right. Fingers crossed. Mm, just a regular katana. Cool, though. We will have so many items to salvage and use for the ancient hunts. And um, now, of course, we're going to quickly enable the speed ring gear. So that's five secret obsidian chests, five buttons. Right now, we want to go to the final room, which uh, is located in the northeast. So right here. This one also is pretty interesting. And ooh, we took a lot of damage right there. All right, let's deal with these necromasters. Take the chest and uh, press the button. So this opens up another gate. So right now, we're going to have to go all the way upstairs. Um, somewhere around these parts, we should be able to find... Uh, the switch as well. I think it's right here, actually. Look at that. So uh, you definitely don't want to miss this one. It's uh, located uh, exactly right here. So um, before you go up with uh, the bookshelf, narrow paths, pretty much. So you're just going to keep fighting your way through. And at a certain point, you will get to the very top floor, pretty much. So uh, right now we can um, get from A to B by uh, using this path. It is pretty, pretty tricky to get to the other side. But um, just... 
fall down right here. And then uh, we also have even more jars scattered across the map. And um, then we're going to get up here. And be extremely careful on that step, guys. Because you can fall down right there. And also these um, necromancers can be quite annoying. So um, right now we click the switch. And this opens up the gate down there. You can actually just drop down, drink a potion, and get back to full HP. Right now we're gonna have to search for a key. I think it's right here. So we have the, the yellow key event. Take down these bad boys. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Did you see that? Wow, the burning endermites. Let me just get to the other side. Oh, get owned, boys. All right, you too. Sweet. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. So um, we still have a life. Don't worry about it. All right, so we got the key. Man, these Enermite, they just keep spawning. It can be extremely annoying. But uh, I'm just going to try to skip them and deliver the key to get my hands on that sixth secret obsidian chest. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Bam. All right. Ah, seriously. Anyways, we got our hands on every single secret obsidian chest which can be found in these parts. So now it is time to check out the secret vault. So uh, we're gonna just continue our way back to the end portal pretty much. And um, we don't want to go downstairs. We were just gonna walk around in a circle. And upstairs, right behind it, there we should be able to find it. So, um deal with these final mobs and look at that we just found the room which was exposed after of course clicking all six buttons so on the map it is located exactly right here right behind the end portal so if we enter this one we are inside the vault guys look at that so uh, we have even more things to do achievement unlocked treasure trove so uh, we got our hands on the treasure achievement very happy about that and of course we want to check out the room So that's a golden chest right there. Common mystery armor. So right now we want to jump down right here to uh, get to the next room. And for this one we're going to need a blue key. So let's start searching for that one. So we're just going to go this way. Go to the very center. And the blue key should be right there. So we're just going to deal with these bad guys and uh, get back to the core. Alright, so here we go. Deliver the key. So while you're fighting these mobs, of course, make sure to click these two buttons as they will, of course, uh, open up the gate, which is uh, upstairs in the rear. So this one only gives you a wooden chest. So now we go back upstairs, get to that room, which you can find, of course, at the beginning where you have the entrance. And this will give you another secret obsidian chest, guys. So uh, you have the secret obsidian chest. You also have this place with uh, four more jars. And if you go to the rear right here, you have another one. All right, so guys, there you have it. All secret obsidian chest locations of the Stronghold mission, which is seven in total if you also activate the switches. I also got my hands on both the Enchanter's Garb and the Troubadour while doing this. So guys, definitely make sure to keep an eye out for these items. Anyways, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And of course, it's also entirely free. A lot more Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons is coming your way. So guys, I'll see you very soon. Right now it's 4am out. Till next time. Peace.